Hi, I'm John Alvarado. I'm the technical director at NXL Entertainment in Newport Beach, California. So, John, can you talk about how you've worked with NVIDIA on the Choplifter uh, THD game? Yes, we've um, received quite a bit of help from NVIDIA on getting this game ported from what was originally a console uh, release onto uh, NVIDIA tablets. And they've provided uh, help with tools such as performance analysis. We've been able to send them builds and they've helped us debug issues because the uh, engine that we're using, Unreal Engine, was not completely ready for tablet at the time that we started trying to use it. So there were issues that needed to be worked through and they helped us with that. And what have they provided in terms of, e, uh, of tech that's helped with the development? Well, as I mentioned, the performance analysis tools they provide, they've actually kind of put together a suite of tools to create sort of a development environment to help developing for, for tablet for NVIDIA. So they provided those uh, in their development kit and they helped us understand how to use them. And how does the game make use of the latest Tegra technology? Well, really, we're just taking advantage of the power of their Terra technology to be able to run the Unreal Engine. It's, it's quite a large engine and has some steep requirements for a CPU, and, and their tablets have the power to support it. And how does this impact the gameplay experience across the platforms you're targeting? Well, really, it just allows us to use a multi-platform engine, Unreal, which, which we were already using for the console versions of Choplifter, and so it, it makes it an easier port for us and allows us to uh, keep the same code base. And what are, the challenges of, uh, what are the challenges of developing for Android devices today? Well, the challenges are like in the old PC days when there were so many different manufacturers and so many different specs for the, for the target device that you really have to find a common denominator or, or lowest um, performance level that you're going to support and then deal with all the minor differences. And, and for Android, what we found both on Choplifter and in our port of the Bard's Tale is that there are, there's a, a spec, but not all the firmware manufacturers actually are able to meet that spec or they have bugs. So a lot of the issues that come up in support end up coming down to bugs and firmware. So it's just a big challenge because there's so many different uh, devices out there. And how does NVIDIA help you with those bugs and challenges? Well, there's, there's not much they can do to, to deal with this proliferation of devices and all the different specs. They can only deal with their, with their devices and, and providing you know, their APIs that, are, that work across versions of their tablets is all we really need and, and they're great at that. And what are your thoughts on how, um, what, yeah, what are your thoughts on what can be done with tablet gaming today? Well it's interesting because games that, that were cutting edge console games you know a few years back are now able to be played on tablets so there's almost no limit on what you can do. We we brought over Choplifter HD and when the original game that we made as when the company first started, The Bard's Tale, has come over to tablets now and is doing really great. It's given it a second life. And what are your thoughts on the Tegra 4 compared to the Tegra 3? Well, it, we always enjoy when we can get more power out of the CPU. It just makes our job easier in terms of hitting frame rate and, and putting the number of objects we want on the screen. So it's, it's just a welcome uh, new level of P CPU power. And how has the Unreal 3 engine helped with this mobile version? Well, Unreal is a multi-platform engine, so they did provide some support for tablet, and it's kind of ongoing and uh, still evolving, but it gave us a great starting point from which to start to get this game up and running on tablet.